So it's important when you're just starting out with SAS to go often between your SAS file and the resulting CSS. Sometimes it's easy to organize your SAS in a way that looks visually appealing, but that ends up making unnecessary selectors and repeating styles inside of your CSS. Now, part of our goal with using SAS is to make it easier to work with by reducing repetition and giving meaning to the different values that are in there. But it's also important that we don't do that at the expense of creating good CSS. So especially early on, it's good to go back and forth. 